friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to be unfortunately not doing a process video but I will be talking you through the process that I did to complete day one in my December daily album. So um, if you don't follow me on Instagram or have viewed my stories lately my husband and I just got our phone upgraded. Our phone's upgraded so I upgraded or I am upgrading from an iPhone 7 to an iPhone 12 Pro. So like a huge upgrade, but we're not actually doing that until Friday because we're waiting for our cases to come in. So all that to say that my phone ran out of space and I had a five second video of my process and here we are. So, so I'm just going to talk you through what we did here. I'll read you my story for the day. Uh, this spread was very, very simple. Um, mostly just some embellishment decisions and whatnot. So let me just talk you through this and then um, that will go from there. So what I did here is I wanted, we, oh, I should back up to go forward. Uh, today it, on December 1st, my husband and I did a Hallmark themed date night here at home. So the original intention was for my parents to watch my kids until it was bedtime and they'd come home and just go to bed. And Erin and I were going to bake cookies together and maybe go for a walk together and then um, put our kids to bed and then watch a Hallmark movie together. Um, well, COVID restrictions have kind of come down on us again, so my parents are not able to take my kids. Therefore, they were with us throughout our date night until they went to bed and we watched our movie, which is fine. Fine and great. You know, things happen like that and it's no big deal. So I am documenting the, the date night tonight, which means it's also super late at night, but that's a whole whole nother story uh, for another time. So what I have here is a full page photo. This was a page that I had created as a foundation page using my Feed Your Craft products. And what I ended up doing here, I have this flip portion down on the four by six over here. And underneath the four by six, I was originally planning to use this journaling card and then another six by four photo. Well, I didn't have any photos that I liked well enough to put there, number one. And then number two, when I sat down to actually start writing, I had quite a bit to say. So what I did is I just made this whole flip all of my journaling, which is totally cool. So this is a six by eight canvas right here that I added my journaling to. And I, uh, I put it so that it was closer to the bottom, leaving this space up at the top. Then I went into my stamp stash and pulled out this one that's called Of the Season. This was from Feed Your Craft from the 2019 uh, holiday release last year. So I used this Starburst pattern along with the Archival Ink watering can, which is a gray, to stamp out these Starburst patterns. Then I went through a whole slew of embellishments to try and figure out what I wanted to go up here. I liked the December stories. Um, I also had liked this idea of like having this come off the page and adding a number or something to it. Ultimately though, I really liked this um, rubber piece the best. So that is what I added. I think it looks really good since over here is so black and white. It just kind of helps bring it all together. It's bold. This is bold. So that is my flip. The top portion of this I had already created and I do have a process video showing you guys how I put together the original uh, foundation page. So I will make sure to link that for you. Then I took the other journaling card that I plan to use in this spread and I ran it through my printer to get my text on here. This is another video, a tutorial that I have available on my channel. Again, I will link it up at the eye for you um, to show that shows how to use Photoshop uh, and or Microsoft Word to get text onto your physical cards. So that's what I did here. Uh, this one just says baking plus decorating, uh, baking plus decorating cookies followed by eggnog and a Hallmark Christmas movie. And then I checked off all the things that, you know, we accomplished. This fell out. I'm going to put it back in. Uh, that we accomplished throughout our date night. Things like made some magic, watched a movie, listened to music, spread cheer, bake cookies. I have a picture of me eating cookie dough because, I mean, who bakes cookies to just have cookies? Like, cookies are for cookie dough, for sure. So I have that picture here. 
And then this is a picture of our two glasses of eggnog in front of our TV where we were playing the 12th date of Christmas uh, movie from Hallmark Channel. I added this embellishment, which was something that I had originally intended to put on this page, just in the middle. It says favorite holiday tradition. And then I had this puffy sticker originally on here, but it easily came back up and I just stuck it on here instead because I like the black and red. Then I went through my number stash and found this glitter one that I had cut out from a project that I made in my 2019 December daily. I loved the way that the red glitter kind of went with the you and me and there's also the red here and there's also the red here so that kind of helped to tie everything in and I put a black tiny phrase sticker it says holiday memories over top of it just to give it like the red and black and the red and black and the red and black so I wanted that to be my repeated element in this particular spread it just felt the most right to me uh, and then that's it. So I, I adhered the photo onto my reason why page. So those are now stuck together. I hole punched it. I have a six hole punch that I got off of Amazon. I will definitely have this linked down below for you um, because it works perfectly in Allie's albums, in the Citrus Twist albums, and in the Studio Calico albums. So if you're looking for a hole punch, it's a great one. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh, I know what else. So then I took the... Um, the journaling here. When I had this in Photoshop, I made sure to have a break where I knew I was going to score it. So, you know, this is a four by six and a four by six. So I knew that for the eight by six, I needed to score it at four inches. So I made sure nothing was at that four inch mark. So then after I trimmed it all out, I scored it at that four inch mark. And then I had a card already prepared that I just adhered on the top of the one side. So now this can go the bottom part inside of the pocket and the top part can just flip down. So yeah, pretty easy this one. Like I said, I think the thing that took me the longest was figuring out what to do up here. Uh, but other than that, like nothing too crazy today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys my journaling from today. If uh, you don't want to hear the journaling and you just wanted to hear about the page, then I will say uh, goodbye and good night to you and I will see you in tomorrow's episode, episode, tomorrow's video, uh, where I will make sure that my silly phone records the process and then on Friday I'll have my new phone and that won't be a problem anymore. And uh, if you do want to hear the journaling then just stick around and we'll dive right into it. So uh, this is what I wrote for today. It's kind of long so just I guess bear with me here. Uh, okay I love that December started on a Tuesday this year. After going so many months at the beginning of the 2020 COVID pandemic, living 24 seven under the same roof and slowly disconnecting from each other, Aaron and I decided to make Tuesdays our night. A night when we would put away our phones, turn off Netflix and connect with each other over puzzles, over board games, over romantic movies on occasion, over evening walks when my parents had the kids. I don't think either one of us knew how badly we needed designated time together until we made a point to do it. So again, I will say that I love that December started on a Tuesday. For a season when the kids tend to take a front seat in the planned events and activities of the month, it was nice to start this month focusing on us, reinforcing that we as a couple matter just as much as we as a parental group, parental team. And even though the surge of COVID cases has sent us all back inside our homes and the kids spent the evening with us instead of spending it with my parents, giving us some alone time like we originally planned, it was still so nice to look forward to the time we could spend together. So, sure, the kids may have crashed our adorable cookie decorating activity. They may have also torn apart the living room that was perfectly decorated down to the romantic candles burning in the fireplace. Isabella may have stayed up a half an hour later than normal and forced us to watch her silly cartoons, putting a hold on our Hallmark Christmas movie until a bit later than expected. But eventually, they did go to bed. The house quieted down and Aaron and I prepared two glasses of spiked eggnog in special eggnog glasses that we've had for years but never used. 
We did eventually turn on that cheesy Hallmark Christmas movie and cuddle in on the couch. And wouldn't you know that Aaron actually enjoyed the movie on the 12th day of Christmas? As for me, I enjoyed spending the first day of this magical season anticipating our time together and feeling so much joy as we watched a love story unfold before us. So there we go, friends. That is the spread for December 1st and the story for December 1st. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this talk through of the spread here. I hope everything makes sense. I think it probably does. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. But if you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I, um, like I said, I will be back again tomorrow, which is going to be Thursday. Although it is Thursday, which means that I will actually be working on my page for tomorrow live. So uh, day three will happen tomorrow, Thursday, December 4th <laughs> at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. Um, so if you want to come and hang out and craft together, work on your December daily while I'm working on it, we can chit chat and have a great time, then definitely come by here 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be working on my day three spread, but I will also be working on my sister-in-law's three by eight album, uh, just because you know I have most of my album prepped. So that won't take very long, which allows me to do her album in the same day. So I hope to see you guys back here tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up down below. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section and let me know what you did on the first day of December. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you make sure you don't miss any of these awesome December process videos that are coming out this month. Um, until tomorrow, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your December 2nd, and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. <laughs> Bye now.